Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today we're going to be going quickly through five, my five favorite drawing apps in the Windows Store. Now, some of you are using a Surface Go or something that's locked down to the Windows Store. It's going to be important for you. Uh, for others of you, it's just nice to be able to find programs that are inexpensive and uh, easy to find and download and install. All right, so this first one is called Concepts. Concepts is uh, really a beautiful app. They did a great job with the UIs built from the ground up to be fast, as well as easy to use with touch. So here you can see it's very responsive. They use tilt as well. Let's go ahead and choose here. They have a bunch of different styles of brush. And I have the pen pressure on the screen turned really low. So it's in the Surface app, I have it set to three. So you can see it's very easy to do. Uh, gradient build. So really they do a nice job. The colors track with this. Um, one of the things that you can do in here is this is all vector. So if I select this and I want to expand it up, it uses the uh, vector path and I can adjust the brush size after the fact, up and down, shrink it, and uh, also adjust the opacity. So a lot of cool options here that you don't normally see uh, obviously you can duplicate this. This is in the pro version. I think it's like $10 uh, or $20 to upgrade to these extra features. But uh, as a whole, it's a really nice fast app. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the tilt, the way that that looks here. Like this is just too much of a difference between this nice small grained texture into this uh, really too big, the, the texture is too, too large and doesn't look good to me. Um, all right, so this is concepts, it's vector based, super quick. The lines are nice and smooth. You don't get a lot of jitter, um, very responsive. You have different layers. Uh, you can also change this here as well as a number of other settings to a toolbar, so that might be more familiar and comfortable for a lot of you. And you can undo all the way back to the beginning. All right, that's concepts. Let's go to the next one. So we go to Sketchable. I did some drawing with my daughter, Sky, and she took my iPad Go, and I took the Surface Pro 6. Six. I took the Surface Pro 6 and we did these cute little drawing tutorials uh, on YouTube. So I will link to the artist who did these ones originally. So it's little baby fox, so cute. Baby Groot, so cute. All right, so here, Sketchable, very light program, installs really quickly, very fast. Uh, one of the things I like is you can set uh, touch to do different things. So here if I'm drawing and want to blur something here, I can do that really easily. Um, tapping again on this option here is going to, or tapping again on this item here is going to allow us to adjust the size and and opacity here. So I like, this is a good size here. Let's go ahead and bring this color down a little bit more. So this is going to, for a lot of artists, gonna be very comfortable working in sketchable. There's a lot of neat features here. You can turn touch off completely. So the whole screen, with the exception of right here on this widget, touch is turned off. You can turn off so that your finger doesn't draw. And when this is set up, your finger will draw on the screen. 
uh, or do whatever tool you have it set up to do. Like smudge. All right, so that's sketchable. Um, one of my favorites, very fast, really easy to use. A number of options set up really well for touch. Uh, we do have a Tablet Pro Artist Pad for Sketchable, but uh, you're not gonna use it for too many different things because um, they did a, a pretty good job there on the UI. All right, our next one is Krita. Now Krita is probably the closest, and I'm gonna try and also put a link to whoever did this art, this is fan art I did of somebody else's um, work, uh, Cat and Dragonfly, but I think it was Cat and Butterfly, maybe, on the original one. My butterfly looked like a dragonfly, so I changed it. All right, so here you can see also very responsive and does a nice job moving around. Uh, very powerful program, but definitely one that you're gonna want uh, an artist pad for. So here I have a new one for Krita and we're going to adjust down the saturation. Uh, down here, this is um, key press OSD. And we're gonna adjust the size of the brush. Back down. And what I like about Krita is it has this beautiful little widget. We can make all sorts of uh, really nice adjustments between picking frequent colors, or not frequent, but, but recently used colors. That's ring around the outside here. And choosing different brushes. And the brush engines, uh, there's a bunch of different brush engines and they are very, very powerful. Uh, this one does a good job of blending. You can see here it's nice and quick. And let's see, let's go ahead and move around the screen choose the presets so here you can see all the different brushes. Um, these are the ones that come built into it and there's some really cool ones. Uh, let me see if I can find one. I think this one's neat. And color, uh, color pickers here so we can choose different colors. Again, it's really fast, really easy to use. It has animation options in it so you can animate inside of Krita uh, as well as uh, pretty much uh, pretty much anything you want to do drawing wise. So great option. Uh, this one is I believe just under $10 in the Windows Store. And it is also available for free uh, from the Krita Foundation. Just look up Krita online and you can download it for free, same version. And uh, one of my absolute favorite drawing programs. Um, one thing I like is that you can also, let's use this brush right here. You can, uh, here with the eraser, erase with the same brush that you're drawing with. So let's see, this one here, you can see the texture is going to stay the same in between erasing and drawing, which is a feature that I think really all drawing programs should have. That's really helpful and useful. All right, on to the next program. Uh, let's see, Autodesk Sketchbook. Autodesk has had a million different versions of Sketchbook, so it's always been a little bit confusing. Uh, the Windows Store one, in my opinion, is my least favorite. The lines are a little bit jaggy. The uh, interface doesn't scale well, and there's a lot of phantom uh, finger painting going on when I wish it were just scaling. And there may be settings to adjust for some of this, but uh, not all of it. All right, so here we can pick. Uh, one thing that I do really like about uh, Sketchbook is the colors that you're looking at. Like, I just think they do a, an awesome job with the colors. Um, Sketchbook and ArtRage, which is not in the Windows Store, I think have some of the, the best colors and really therapeutic and, and fun to draw with. All right, so let's take a little bit more. And here you can 
make quick adjustments by just swiping up. This is your opacity and size. Up is opacity, sideways is uh, your brush size. All right, so let's go ahead and blend these. And you can see how nicely they blend. Tap here, and you have a whole bunch of different brush options. I like the smudge brushes, and they all have different properties here, which is pretty cool. And you can also adjust these brushes even further by double tapping on those options and save them. And then if you want to move one over here, you just grab it and drag it over here and make your custom palettes that way. And you can get new brushes by tapping here and you can download those ones uh, from different brush creators. And they're pretty cool. And there's a lot of different options. Again, this version is not, in my opinion, it is not as good as the desktop one, like not even close. The desktop one is, is really great and they have different shortcuts. So I have here for sketchbook, I have one that allows you to do a number of different things here. So we'll resize the brush, make it smaller and we'll pick a color. And so these work and then they're different in the other program. So you have different ones. So this one I think is for the desktop one, not for the Windows Store one. All right, so that is Autodesk, Sketch, Autodesk Sketchbook. It doesn't respond really well to touch. It does use the new API so that you can interact nicely with the artist pad. If you're getting this one and you're not, not locked into Windows S, I recommend that you go to the desktop version. This is completely free as of just, I think four or five months ago. And one of the better options, unless you're doing line work and then it's a little bit off, the desktop one I know has line stabilization that you can use. Uh, and it works well, but I don't like that, that by default you have a crappy line and you have to change something in order to get it to look better. Uh, I think it should always be slightly stabilized. All right, you guys, that's Autodesk Sketchbook. Let's go on to our last, our last one here. And this one is a surprise. I think probably for most people, they're going to be shocked that I have in my list uh, OneNote. OneNote is in the Windows Store. Again, also free. And I actually think as far as pencil replication, I think it is the best option. Now it's if you have, let's go ahead and open up the Surface app. Here, if you have your pressure set to seven, which is where it is by default, and you're drawing, it's just a black line. And it's okay, it's not bad. Um, but it's not, I mean, you can't really shade. Um, you can tilt the brush and it has nice tilt options. So you can make some fun shapes, but really not usable. So uh, here, what you need to do, and you need to do this frequently because this will automatically set itself back to seven. Uh, I think it's a bug and should be fixed. But here, now you see this beautiful thick and thin line that uh, when you go to tilting, it doesn't use a different size grain, which is what I see in most programs. So I can do this lovely pressure ramp with the pen, and it looks, really looks the way I think it should. And then if you draw in here, you can see these nice fast responsive and like right underneath the tip I, and I don't know if you guys see latency here but to me it's it's pretty close to the fastest of all of them 
All right, so OneNote, here we'll put it on drawing mode, and you can see up here, expand out here, and you have all sorts of different colors. You can change the brush size here, uh, obviously with limited options. Here they have a palette, so you can pick between these colors. And you're just going up here to the top and selecting between the different ones. Now these are not pens. The pen does not adjust uh, its opacity based off of pressure. and just does a little bit of line thickness. Okay, this is one note. Um, I think it is one of the best options here you can use. Trying not to make a pentagram accidentally. <laughs> ah! Okay, in one note, you can erase with uh, stroke the stroke eraser, uh, or you can change it here to different size erasers that will just erase parts, but not the whole thing. Uh, also, I know a lot of you are going to think, oh, I don't want lines on my drawing, so here are ruler lines, set that to none. And now you don't have it. Again, this is an infinite canvas. And it's free and fast and lovely. But uh, you will want to have something to undo, because undo is a pain in the butt if you don't have something to do that. Uh, we have the artist pad, obviously it does that, and then the pen tool in the Windows Store will let you do undo. All right, you guys, if you have an option that I did not bring up, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if there are any tricks that I didn't share that you think are really useful inside these programs, uh, let me know in the comments or share with the other users here uh, in the comment section. And we will all learn together and enjoy our drawing more. Uh, I also have a review for you guys of this little drawing tablet that uh, has pen pressure and is uh, microscopically thin, is super, super thin. The stylus is built on the side. This is uh, LCD screen. And you can see the different pressure it, it does do pressure. <laughs> All right, and it was 10 bucks on Amazon. Kind of fun little sketch doodle pad uh, for kids. And battery lasts two years. All right, you guys, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative. Please subscribe and share this channel with your friends. Bye. Uh, also, the programs that we use today, uh, Tablet Pro pen tool. Let's go ahead and search for that. All right, that's this guy right here. And that's one that we made here at Tablet Pro. And the other ones that we use today is Tablet Pro, just search same thing. And the last one is Keypress OSD. Let's get rid of that search. And this one is currently on sale for 50% off and this does a ton of different things. So check that out.